Hi. Nobody ever stopped Scrooge in the street to say with gladsome looks, my dear Scrooge, how are you? When will you come and see me? No beggars implored him to bestow a trifle. No children asked him, oh, it was a clock, sir. Even the blind men's dogs seemed to know him, and when they saw him coming, would drag their owners up into courts or archways. But what did Scrooge care? That was a very thing he liked, to edge his way along the crowded paths of life, warning all human sympathy to keep its distance. Once upon a time, and of all the good days in the year, on Christmas Eve, old Scrooge was busy in his counting house. It was cold, bleak, biting weather, foggy with all, and Scrooge could hear the people in the court outside go wheezing up and down, beating their hands upon their breasts, stamping their feet upon the paving stones to warm them. The city clocks had only just gone three, but it was quite dark already. It had not been light all day, and candles were flaring in the windows of the neighbouring offices like ruddy smears upon the palpable brown air. And the fog came pouring in at every chink and keyhole that the houses opposite were like phantoms.